It's buzzing in here ahead of game three. And we'll be back in a minute to get it started. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the Colorado Rockies. With my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. A lot going on in this series as we get ready for game three, Singy. Man, it's been fun so far, Boog, that's for sure. After splitting the first two, game three takes on even more meaning than usual. You don't want to be the team that drops this one and then be faced with having to win two games in a row in order to and take now, the series. That's tough. And the pressure on the starting pitchers is big in this Colorado one. Each of them is being counted on to come through with a quality performance, hoping to save some of that bullpen for really critical games coming up. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. And it's second with one away. Jay Mack digs in now. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. First pitch, not close. Hey, one pitch right here. Come on now. And he deals. Now fly ball to right center. Veen makes his way towards it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. That is good. The third baseman, number eight. First and second, one out. Next is the designated hitter, Jay Mack. You talk about the power and the speed together. Oh, well, we knew he was going to be a stud oh, just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this hey, level, an impact player. Oh, big dog, right time. Double play ball to second. Over to DeYoung. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Good two-seam action right there. Running away from the batter. Rolled over it. Got the ground out. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. And the 3-1. Runner on the goal. And there's Paul Ford. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Two outs, bases full. Next for the Brewers, Andrew Vaughn. Grounded out his first time up. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the righty deals. That one fouled off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Hey, let her rip one time. And there's a foul ball. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. Three, two. Got him. Huge strikeout there. Brewers leave them loaded, and we're still knotted at zero. Jay Mack, up now for the Brewers. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And fouled off. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. 
It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Kicks and fires. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. With one swing, he quiets the crowd, and they grab the lead. It's 2-1. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Next to hit, Jay Mack. One for three. Well, baby, he's now, not going to get cheated up there. No, he's hey. not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. An absolutely majestic shot, and they add to the lead. It's 5-1. Off the bat, it looked like it had plenty of distance, but there was just no telling if it was going to stay fair. I mean, he really hooked that thing down the right. Jay Mack up now for the Brewers. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Let's go now. One time. There's a swing and a drive. And it's off the wall. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. So two down. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Left-hand hitter waits. Out towards right center field. Montgomery gets under it, makes the grab, and that'll do it. Brewers strand one, and it remains 5-2. Game threes are very critical when you have a series tied at one and one because you put yourself up. Anytime you go down, you're always chasing. When you're up in the series, you feel like you're in the driver's seat. Nice win today. So, Chris, here's a look at the final numbers from what turned out to be a really close ball game. Yeah, this is one of those games that clearly could have gone either way, and that's kind of exactly what you expect out of postseason baseball. So competitive. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.